Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have a look at the brand new range of the Old Pultney whiskies. Old Pultney is a Scottish malt whiskey distillery in the very northeast of Scotland, in the harbour town of Wick, and Wick is very famous for its helicopter bays where they fly out to the oil rigs in the North Sea. Oh. And in former time it was just a, a small fisher town, village, and uh, the distillery was built close to the harbour, not exactly at the harbour, but a little bit a few blocks inside, and exactly at that place because there is a, a, a lock, a sweet water lock, a little bit to the southwest. Mm -hmm. It's called Loch Humpix, and from that there is a little river uh, going down to the sea, uh, Mill Aid it's called, and at that Mill Aid uh, the distillery is located, and there they took the water from and take the water for the process. Today I think they uh, get the water supply from the town of Wick, and it's purified natural water. And yeah, there had been a range of whiskey at Old Pultney, the main whiskey was was and is the 12 years old and then there had been a 17 year and a 21 years old and the 21 years old was became very very famous because it was got the prize for the world best single malt whiskey uh, i had that as well it was really good but to say it's the be world best i didn't dare so today there is and then there were a few special bottlings called the Navigator and called by a, the name of a lighthouse and so on. And those bottles showed uh, some offset prints on instead of the label. And th now they changed the appearance that they have a uh, glued label on the bottle as all other whiskies have. And there is a no age uh, whisky called the Huddard named from the Huddard Street at mm -hmm. which the distillery is located, then the 15 years of age and the 18 years of age. So no longer a 17, but a 15 year old, no longer a 21, but an 18 year old. And there is a 25 year old out there. It's very, very expensive, very rare. And the 12 year old will appear in May, June, 2019 in the new appearance. But the warehouses, the stores are that full with a 12 year old. I think they wait a little bit until they cleared up with a 12 year old. Yeah, they are 46% unchill filtered, uncolored, and the Huddard is without an aid statement and is priced a little bit about around 40, about 40 euros, dollars, pounds. What are you thinking about? <laughs> oh, first of all, uh, Wick, the town uh -huh. of Old Pultney, uh, here, here they as Europe's herring capital. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mont Monterey in Europe. <laughs> the herring right. capital. And the other one is that they say uh, they endured everything man and nature, including 25 years of prohibition. Oops. Was, it, was there a prohibition in uh, They in tried to introduce a prohibition in Ireland, but they failed. The Christian Temperance Union, Women's Temperance Union. Uh, I don't know. But the the the, the perhaps the, the law uh, that they weren't the allowed to the from the Americans did have an influence probably, but yeah. that was fifteen years, wasn't it? Uh, 1919 to thirty-three. I thought eighteen to thirty-three, but something like that. But still, that's fifteen years or sixteen years. Mm -hmm. So probably they mean... Wasn't it the, the, the town maybe had a prohibition? Probably, uh, <laughs> but the, sa <laughs> the sailors just had outside the border. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably uh, okay, there, was a ban, <laughs> there was a ban on producing uh, malt whiskey in the Highlands up to 1824 when King Edward William Henry whatever <laughs> uh, said now it's legal. And probably the ban was introduced uh, 18 something. Ah, okay. Uh, so mm. probably that was that. But mm. it wasn't prohibition because there was beer and still allowed everything. Mm. So no idea. Um, the specialty with this whiskey is that it's uh, second fill ex bourbon cast, American white oak, and then finish in uh, first fill ex bourbon casks. So we have a double maturation in ex bourbon casks. 
And the first is the typical big amount of bourbon cask a distillery has with second and third fill. Mm -hmm. And uh, the finishing is done by a new cask, and that's wonderful because this will give us well, more intense flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've been at Old Pultney first time in 1995. Mm -hmm. And then something 2000 something, I said, I have to visit it again. So everything must have changed. And then <laughs> we uh, parked at the distillery. Everything looked exactly the same. <laughs> so uh, nothing changed as with many, many other distilleries in Scotland. So it's a not that beautiful distillery. It's more or less industrial old houses. Yeah. But the whiskey. Mm -hmm. Mm. Did you already talk about the maturation? Yeah. Okay, this is... It's strange, I wouldn't have expected so much so much uh, smoke. It's just still, it's little smoke, but I wouldn't have expected any uh, smoke at all. I but. talked about the maturation, but, but not exactly what really takes place. Oh, okay. So the second was maturation in ex-bourbon cask, which contained... Uh, smoky whiskey before. Mm -hmm. Yep, so peated smoky whiskey. Whiskey before. So it, yeah, the, you get a little peat in there, so a little peat smoke. Just it's just a whiff, but mm -hmm. it's it's still it's it's present. Yeah, so three, four, five ppm, mm -hmm. something like that. A little bit, just to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. But the the main character of the distillery is still behind that, so it's mm -hmm. it's fresh, a little fresh fruit, a little sourness, and vanilla and caramel, probably from the newer casks. Mm -hmm. Burned caramel. Burned caramel. Okay, mm. that's pretty much pretty burned caramel. <laughs> but I, I think that it's it's smoky, but you get a little bit of fruitiness, but everything smells a bit fresh. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. a bit of a, a green apple going on. Hmm. Yeah, have a sip. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 46, <laughs> unchill filtered, uncolored, <laughs> pure na nature, and a an hefty impact. The mm -hmm. alcohol burns in, not burns in, kicks in, mm -hmm. and then there is some spiciness coming through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the smokiness covers my mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm still surprised how how smoky a whiskey can be that um, never used to be a smoky um, wasn't smoked during the production process. You have a non-peated malt, and still you have a peat smoky product. There are two two possibilities. The first is that they didn't really empty the casks for hours. But they just <laughs> poured it out and <laughs> turned back so that there is in a 220 or 210 liter cask, there might be one or two liters left. So it's 1%. Mm. Having 50 ppm, 1% of that is 0.5 ppm. Mm -hmm. And the second might be the charring of the cask. That there is a transition lay layer between the charcoal and the wood. Mm -hmm. uh, in that might be some fennels appearing in that. Some vanilla, some honey coming through, mm. and my mouth is cladded. My, my second sip, I have to say, in the German taste, it was much fresher, much more on that peaty and a bit of spicy influence. But in the, in the on the second sip now, a bit sweeter, a bit more, yeah, creamy. Still the 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 mm. spiciness. Also, you you do get a bit of spiciness. It's a a peppery spiciness. Uh -huh. And I have to say, it, it doesn't taste that mature. No. It's just mm -hmm. uh, everything's a bit fresh. You don't get the spiciness from the tannins of the wood, but from, I would say, distillation or malt or I don't know. Mm, smokiness. So, smokiness. So it's cladding my mouth. I know some dryness appearing, those apples shining through. And the spiciness stays for longer. So they say middle long aftertaste. I would suggest this is a long aftertaste. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this is it, priced slightly above 40 mm -hmm. for an unchill filtered, uncolored 46% ABV. 
it's quite nice. The price is all right for today, where the prices everywhere have <laughs> risen because of the high demand. And uh, I'm very eager to learn the 15 and 18 year old. And in May, June, there will be the 12 year old, uh, which shouldn't be that much more expensive than the Huddard. Huddard. Mm -hmm. from the Huddard Street. Um, so this is a, a good range of whiskies coming out from Old Pultney. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm really excited about the next ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Me too. Yeah, I would categorize it as a, not as a beginner whiskey, but as a normal everyday whiskey. I think it's kept quite tasty, quite something else, quite phenolic and that kind of stuff, if you like that. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please Leave a comment, feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.